What is going on everybody? Welcome to the 10th KV tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about the screen manager. So I've already talked about this, what the purpose of the screen manager is in the last video, so we're just going to go ahead and hop right on into it. So to get the screen manager we have to make another import and this one's going to be from screen manager import screen manager we're going to also need screen and then we're going to import fade transition so not only is it going to allow us to change between screens there's a quite a well there's a handful of transitions that you can use um, and that just kind of makes it look a little better as you transition and it, it literally a transition helps the user know that a transition is even occurring right but it's also it's just more user friendly and it looks better so anyway, uh, those are the things that we need, and now we're ready to actually build our application. Luckily, or at least for this tutorial, we can do it pretty simply. We're just going to need a lot of classes that happen to pass. But anyways, uh, first we're going to have a class, and we're going to have a main screen. And main screen is going to inherit from screen. Basically, to use a screen manager, we need to import from screen, and, or inherit from screen, rather. Um, and then, so main screen will pass. Uh, then we're going to have class another screen. Again, it's going to inherit from screen. And again, it's just going to pass. And then we'll have class screen manager, no, management. Uh, it's really easy to, <laughs> when you're like doing tutorials or just like trying to learn about something, it's really easy to make the function name the same thing as what you're working with, either a module or a or exactly this because generally they name their things a pretty intuitive name as well so you can get in all kinds of trouble anyway screen manager don't do that uh, so this will be a screen management class which we'll cover in just a moment and then it's going to inherit from screen manager which is here and you guessed it it's gonna pass <laughs> so we don't really need any logic at this point uh, simply because um, we are, we're really just doing like the visual and Kiwi kind of stuff at this point so we don't actually need um, to put any logic here but soon you can imagine you might uh, and that's basically it although we need to get rid of these right here uh, so presentation is not a function, it's just a, a variable. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And now we're ready to move into our KV file. So we'll save that there and we'll come over to our KV file. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything out of this main.kv. We don't really need anything there. Um, and if, yeah, I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to utilize this main or fade transition and later on you can actually you might do something with it but actually probably the main use of fade transition is going to be in the kiwi file anyways but uh so to do an import in your kiwi file it's really quite simple but um it, i guess it's it's kind of flipped around but anyway it's kind of i'll just show you so we want to import what we want to import fade transition and then from where so kiwi.uix dot screen uh, manager dot fade transition okay uh, and that's our import that's really the only thing we need to write there now uh, we're gonna reference first uh, screen management and basically talk about what screen management is managing so uh, first we have screen management colon tab and first we're gonna reference transition Transition is, you know, like an element of our screen manager. Okay, so what we inherited from uh, to make our screen management class there. Transition, you guessed it, we're going to use the fade transition. Then, uh, what, are, what are the screens that we're managing? Well, we're managing main screen, and we're going to manage another screen. Okay, and later on you might be able to add some stuff here. For now, we'll just leave those actually completely blank. So now let's create our main screen uh, rules here. And um, again, Kiwi files are a lot like spreadsheets, uh, or st spreadsheets, style sheets, um, in the sense that, you know, like you reference, say, an ID. So main screen is our, you know, parent, and then we've got this child, you know, ID basically, and then we can 
pass some more things and, and actually reference that ID and have a user scroll to that ID and all that kind of stuff. It's, kind of, it's basically the same thing here. So here we're going to give it a name and the name of main screen we're just going to say is main. Um, and that's basically it. And then we, we want a button here, capital B for button by the way. We want a button, uh, tab over, we're going to have a, a few elements here. And what this button is going to do is on release, which is a uh, function of a button here, on release, what do we want to happen? Well, app.root.current. So our app is basically this, right? Main app. And then we're saying basically dot root dot current for the current screen that we're looking at. And we want to actually change that to other if the button is going to be the on the so the main screen and it'll be like, hey, go to another page or go to your settings or whatever. Basically, this is what controls what this button does. So we want it to head to other for another page. So the name of our, say, another screen or the ID, like the ID anyways, the name is going to be other. So that's kind of how you reference them. Anyways, that's on release, but we need a few other things. First of all, we need some text to let the user know what the heck is about to happen. Um, We'll just we'll call this actually next screen. That's probably the easiest. And then finally, uh, font size we'll just say 50, so it's nice and clear. And that's basically it with the main screen. And now we're gonna code uh, the another screen. I'm gonna just copy this, paste this, and instead of a main screen, it is another screen. Name is other. When we release the button on this screen, we want to change back to the main screen. And then, of course, this will say something about going back home. So we'll just say back home. OK, easy enough. And now we've got basically all of our required um, you know, Kiwi stuff. And we've got our buttons. We've got our screen manager managing our screens. Our screens are willing to change the current screen to other. And the way that we're doing that is with a fade transition. So I think we're ready to run. Let's see if we have any errors. So we can run that. Our screen comes up. Sure enough, we have next screen. We click on next screen and we see it faded to this screen here. We'll click it again and we go back home. So we can see that this basically worked the way that we, at least for now, have intended. Obviously the button is giant and we don't really do anything else, but we are able to go back and forth between various screens. And then obviously as time goes on, we can add some information, some more, you know, kind of gooey stuff, some logic here, and then come into our actual uh, Kiwi file, add some more kind of graphics and customization, and maybe not make the button take up the whole screen, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so we can add stuff there. So I figured the most uh, or the best thing to do now would be show since in the previous video we actually made an application where we were drawing stuff, right? Why not just add that application um, as if it was, you know, anything else? Uh, so we'll add that application. We'll basically come to the main screen. We'll hit this. It'll come to our application, and then maybe there's a button that heads us back home. Okay, something simple like that. So. Uh, that's what we're going to cover in the next video, so stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.